on this episode of the Fell Engine Project. I make the leaf spring pedestal brackets. These were made from brass bar using the mill. First the brass bar is cut on the horizontal bandsaw. The brass bar used is old material that we had lying around. I think it might have been an imperial size, being 9.75 times 19.25 millimeters. To set up the vise on the mill, I place parallels against the jaws of the vise, ensuring the vise is clear of chips. These parallel bars hold the part level and resist downward force with the workpiece sitting on top of them. Now with the workpiece securely held in the vise, I use a carbide insert base mill to square the bar and bring it down to size. I then swap the face mill for a collet chuck and end mill. The part is then mounted in the mill vise, so the edges can be milled to size. Once the sides have been machined to final size, I can swap the collet chuck for a drill chuck. I then use the edge finder to find the centre of the part, first locating one edge, zeroing the X axis, moving to the other side and locating that edge. Once the second edge is located, I press the half function on the digital readout, followed by selecting the axes. This is then repeated on the Y axis, locating the rear face. You can see the edge finder jump sideways as it makes contact with the part. Once the edge is located, the Y axis is zeroed. Then half the diameter of the edge finder is added to the Y axis. The spotting drill is then loaded into the drill chuck with the position located on the digital readout. The hole is then started with the spotting drill, followed by a 4.5mm drill, then a 4.9mm drill, leaving excess material for reaming to 5mm. The reamer is coated in cutting oil before being used at a low RPM. Next up, I use an end mill followed by a radius cutter to cut the curved features on the part. The radius cutter cuts a curved chamfer. The 
larger part can now be cut into four separate pieces. These cut parts are then squared in the mill using a 12mm carbide end mill. Once both sides have been squared, a measurement can be taken with calipers. This is used to set the digital readout and cut the part to the final size. Once the part's cut to size, the final check can be made on its dimension. The four 2.5mm holes can then be drilled, along with recess cut with a 6mm end mill. All four holes were located using the digital readout for accuracy. The final machining process is to put a small recess on either side using a 4mm end mill. Once the machining is complete, I use a file to round the corners of the part. Parts are fixed in place using M2.5 hex socket head screw. And then we have it the frame with the completed parts in place. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.